It is Mother's Day. Did you give your mom a big hug when she got up this morning? And that's okay if you did. And guess what? I haven't hugged my mother yet today either. But when I see her later, I'm going to give her a big hug and squeeze and wish her a happy Mother's Day. So before you go home today, will you do me a favor? Will you give her a big hug and squeeze and wish her a happy Mother's Day? Okay. Awesome. Well, Heather, did you know in the Bible it talks a lot about moms and dads? Did you know that? Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about what you today. Not all mothers love God, but those who do, the ones who try to teach their children about God, have a very special place in his heart. And I can tell your mom, she loves God, because she has you here today, and she's teaching you about God, and that is wonderful. In fact, in the Bible, God made a promise to the children who love and honor their mother and father. And the Bible says, honor your father and mother, then they will live a long, full life in the land of the Lord that God is giving for you. And that's in the Bible in Exodus chapter 20. So, does your mom have a purse? A purse? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a great big purse? She has this purse. Yeah? Well, I brought my purse with me today. It's kind of big. Do you want to have a big purse like this? She probably does. Well, in, you'd be surprised what you can find in a mom's purse. Moms have lots of things in their purses. Yeah. Purse. Is, is it? Well... I left my phone sitting back there and not in my purse today. But sometimes they have things in their purse that help their children and help take care of their children. Like, do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a wallet. And I keep changing it. I keep some money. Oops, I don't have any money right now. I used it on my kids the other day. But a wallet is good in emergencies. Sometimes you might be going somewhere and you might be getting low on gas, might be taking you to a practice for a sport or something, or maybe to school, and you have to stop and get gas because you have to be able to get to school. So wallets come in handy to take care of your kids and do financial things. And then there's some other things they sometimes have in their purse. Does your mom have gum in her purse? Do you ever get sweets in her purse? Okay. Well, sometimes, you know, my mom, when I get down in the dumpster, I might be in a bad mood. She might say, here, here's something sweet to cheer you up. And she'd give me a piece of gum to chew. Then you might have one of those in your mom's purse. You ever see one of those in your mom's purse? Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's a Band-Aid. Sometimes our children get injuries, little boo-boos. I know when mine was little on your age, my mom would just give my boo-boos a kiss and it would make it feel better. But sometimes we need band-aids to help our injuries, don't, they? don't we? What else do I have in my purse? I bet your mom had these in her purse before. Yeah. Do you have allergies? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, sometimes you get a runny nose or your eyes are watering. Sometimes you're sad and you might have a tear. And your mom will give you Kleenexes to wipe them away, doesn't she? Yeah. And I don't know if your mom would have one of these in her purse, but I used to have one on my keychain. It's perfect. At nighttime or if you're somewhere and the power goes out, you have a flashlight because we don't like our children to be in the dark, do we? You do. Oh, well, you're the opposite of me. My kids, they didn't like the dark. So I always kept a lot of flashlights around. And my last thing I have in my purse, I have other things too, but my last thing is this. It's a little Bible, isn't it? Well, sometimes we read our Bible. Sometimes we read it to our children. Lots of times we read it by ourselves. But this helps us guide us, raising our children, so that we can have God in your life. And it helps us on that path and navigate those hard choices we have. So it's important to have a Bible with you. So a mom's purse comes in pretty handy, doesn't it? But I hope it shows you how much your moms love you and they take care of you. And a lot of things in that purse are to help you. So... I just want to share with you that having that Bible helps guide your way and your mom's way along the way. So let's say a little prayer. And that was my children's moment or service about the mother's purse. And let's say a little prayer. Dear Father, we thank you for godly mothers. We're thankful that they are always prepared to help their children and to lead them on the right path. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Very good.